Okay guys, here's my ZYX setup video. Uh, you're gonna get some wires that come with your ZYX. Uh, this one wire that has three wires on the end of it. The black one goes to your gyro gain on the receiver. The red one goes to the elevator on the receiver. The white one goes to the pitch on the receiver. And then there's a separate one that goes to the aileron on the receiver. And then the last one goes to the rudder on the receiver. The other um, wires on the gyro from your servos, or your servos will plug into the other four locations. And that will be your elevator, aileron, and a rudder. Okay, so see the swash plates here? The swash plate in the middle, this one right here, is for your 450 and 500 size. So this is channel 1, 2, and 3. So you're going to plug channel 1 into channel 1 right here. And then your <coughs> servo on this side, your channel 2, will go in channel 2 right there. <coughs> and so you know to do a channel three. So when you finish, it should look like that. The orange one, uh, orange color ones on my left, those are my servo wires, and the ones on the right, the white color wires, are the wires we were just looking at right there that are going to the receiver. Okay, now you're gonna go into your transmitter, and you're gonna use. Uh, H3 is for regular uh, swash plate type. Swash plate type. So we're going to switch that to uh, H1. <laughs> Okay, now we got that set up. And then we just want to make sure we have all our sub trims zeroed. And uh, we're going to be using 40% negative expo. Since it's Futaba, if you have a spectrum, you'll be using about 40% positive expo. Up with my throttle. My swash plate goes down rather than going. Goes up when I go use my cyclic stick left, my swash plate goes right. So plug the power there. Open up our ZYX software if I can find it here. set like this, direction one, then we go next, and we're using uh, 1520 US for the cyclics and the tail. Okay, next, swash plate type, we're using this one right here, the 120. And we go next, and this 
also reverse my servos. Not only reverse the servos, I want to reverse my movement. Now, this right here is everything should be working properly when you go forward. If you go forward and back, left, left wing, and right. If by chance you have something like this where one is going up and back, then right here it says channel three, which is this one, since it's not going in the right position. All three. Now, you see we don't have really that much screw there on the elevator analog. And at this point, I need to 90 my servos. So let's go get a servo trim. Oh, okay. One, two, and three. So on trim number one first. And that would be the one on the right side, right front. Let's see which way it goes. It's going down about there. And then I have to trim number two. Like it needs to come down. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> now for number three. Let's come down. Let's lock the bottom there. That needs to be reversed too. And then, uh, see, I got way too much pitch there. And then I'd be going over here to. This is actually for elevator and aileron. I don't have that much stroll in my elevator and aileron. So I'll be putting my pitch gauge on and increasing my pitch to about eight. Here and pictures show you which way you want your pit, your blades turn when you're putting your.
pitch gauge on uh, for aileron, it would be in this direction. For the elevator, you'll have it back in this direction. Okay, now this is all that pitch. If I want to decrease the pitch, I use my pitch, but the pitch gauge, but be careful. Because too much of this will make your swatch plate, swatch plate go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to get my pitch there. Stop the servo from buzzing. And I want to make sure I got full deflection there. Now I go to the tail, oh, the right side. I'll drop that down. back there. buzzing to the servo that means I'm not damaging my servo. I was about making the screen for nothing. Go to next. Now this is the pyro weight. Let me go that way to see that needs to needs to reverse. This one needs to be reversed. Yep, and I think this one needs to be reversed. Fellas, I'm gonna put my pitch gauge on here. 
zero my pitch then uh, going to idle up check my full mid uh, full pitch at uh, high stick and check my full pitch at low stick if I have more pitch at uh, high than I do low then I'll be raising or lowering my swash plate after I put the swash plate level on I hope this helps you guys out there for watching